Hi, today we're going to talk to you about the Electromagnetic spectrum. There are seven types of radiation. These are radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays and gamma rays. We're going to talk to you about the properties and uses of these radiations. Waves have three different properties. These are wavelength, which is the distance between two peaks or troughs, amplitude, which is how high the peaks are, frequency, which is how often the wave occurs. This is measured in hertz. Electromagnetic waves are electrical and magnetic waves that transfer energy from one place to another. All waves travel at the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. We can use an equation to work out the speed of a wave, which is speed equals frequency times wavelength. Radio waves are the first type of radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum. They're used for communication, including AM and FM radios. Damn, it's only a way it doesn't work. Why didn't you try digital? It's got better signals. That's a good idea. Also, they use for television transmissions. Oh, oh, do you know what time countdown's on? No. Oh, oh, the shopping channel. Yes. I've always wanted a set of two Spyro Gyro motorised pens with five colouring cartridges. I've got to get me some of them. <laughs> Hang on. Although they're not very dangerous because they don't have much energy, they can cause some medical problems. Wait, did you know the second type of radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum is this? Microwaves. They can be used to heat food in just seconds. Take this haddock for example. All I need to do is set the time I want to heat it for and the microwaves will heat it up. And it's cooked. Good, isn't it? Hey, what are you doing at the weekend? Hang on, are microwaves used for mobile phone transmissions? That's right, because they can be generated by a small antenna. But, wait, some people suggest that microwaves from mobile phones can affect some parts of your brain, and they are also known in large amount to cause cataracts. You keep it. Oh, okay. Mmm, haddock. <laughs> wow, Marin, look at these massage chairs. They use infrared for heat. Wow, they look really cool, Vicky. Did you know that infrared can also be used for short-range communications, like between phones or computer equipment? However, Bluetooth is more commonly used now. TV remotes send their signal via infrared too. Like this. See, we can't see it with the naked eye, but if you look at it through a camera, you can see it flashing. How cool is that? Wow. Did you know, also, most things give off infrared waves, so we can use infrared detectors to see in low-light conditions. Oh no, someone's turned out the lights. An infrared camera would be really useful right yeah. now. We're here in the jungle. Wow, these leaves are well cool. But how comes I can see them? <laughs> it's because of visible light. The light reflects off the leaf and into your eyes, allowing you to see it. So how comes they look green? It's because colours have different wavelengths and our body has to guess the colour. Oh, really? And what about this torch? It's helping me see in the deep, dark jungle. It uses visible light as well. Oh, cool. And it's said that lasers have light waves in them, which let them read CDs. Yeah, that's true. But surely visible light must have some bad points. It does, like everything. If you stare at something bright for too long, like the sun, it can damage your eyes. Ultraviolet comes after visible light in the electromagnetic spectrum. It has lots of uses, including sunbeds, sterilisation and detecting counterfeit banknotes. It can also be used in security pens, like this one. These are used, these mark something in UV um, ink and then can be seen under a UV light if it's stolen. Like this chair, it's very precious to me, so I'm going to mark it. Vicky, what are you doing here? Have you, got, have you got UV protecting sunglasses and sunblock on? No, why? Well, did you know that UV from the sun can damage your retinas and can also burn your skin, causing skin cancer? I better go buy some then. Yes, you better. <sighs> so, what are you looking for? Can I chew on you? Oh, poor you. Yeah, and what about you? Oh, well, something to do with my arm. I'm not really sure what happened, but it's not looking good. Mary 
my toes in, so the radiologist, please. Yeah, that's me. On this way. Good luck with the tumour and that. You see, it's my arm. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it. I just fell over and it kind of ended up like this. It hurts quite a lot. I think it might be dislocated. We'll have to stick it back into place. Oh, okay. Will it hurt? Just a little. Okay. I'm ready. Ah! <laughs> that really hurt! Uh -oh. <laughs> well, I've got to take an x-ray to check nothing's broken. Oh, okay. Just stick it under there. Alright, just go behind the screen. <laughs> That's it, you can take your arm out now. It really hurts. But I'm fine, you know. So, why did you go behind that screen and why are you wearing that silly badge? Well, too much exposure to x-rays can cause cancer if you have it on a regular basis. And this badge lets me know how much exposure I've had by the change of colour. Oh, that's interesting to know. You know, I've always wondered that. Ah, so, um, what about my arm? Well, if you just go upstairs to Dr. Hills, she'll fix your arm up for you. Okay. Excuse madam. Um, excuse me. I just need to search you for any metal items. Um, might be these? Uh, yes, possibly. I still need to search you, though. Okay. Um, I think these are more of a problem. Oh, I forgot I had them. Yes. Um, are these your bag and shoes coming through now, madam? Yeah. Um, unfortunately... You can't take this through with you, and it's no good trying to hide it in your shoes. You can have these back. Thank you. I just need to search your bag, madam. You see, our x-ray machine here, which can let us see an image of the inside of your bag, and there are a few things we need to check out. Okay. Unfortunately, you're not allowed this, madam. What were you planning to do with it? It was a souvenir. Okay. Well, I can't allow you to take this. What am I going to give my little brother? I'm sorry, you can't give him a sword. <laughs> and you're not allowed this either. What's the point of it? Self-defence. <gasps> Everyone well, carries one. You're not allowed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you're not allowed these. And you're not allowed this. That is a light snack. I'm sorry, madam, you're not allowed liquids and you're definitely not allowed what alcohol if I get on the thirsty? plane. You don't have to stay thirsty. You can get a refreshment on the plane. Um, well, you're allowed this, but it's I don't know apple. why you'd want it. It's my apple! Um, okay. Sorry, but you're certainly not allowed this. It's to cut the apple. <sighs> what am I meant to cut it with? Not this. Sorry. What am I going to use? My finger. And you're not allowed these either. You like scissors, don't you? <sighs> Oh, and unfortunately, you're not allowed this. That's my dog! Well, you can't take it on the plane. That's my dog! <laughs> take it away from me! Does it have a pet passport? No, oh, don't take it away! I'm sorry, I'm going to have to put your dog in quarantine. Okay, don't take it away um, from me. Yeah, you can have your bag back now. There's nothing left. Um, well, don't forget your apple. Oh, great. Goodbye, madam. Hi, Amy. Now, let me just talk you through the procedure that's going to happen. We're going to use a, concentra a concentrated beam of gamma rays to destroy the tumour. You see, because gamma rays have a lot of energy, they are also very dangerous, which means they can destroy cells. So we're going to use them to destroy the cells of your tumour. Hopefully it will work. Nurse, can I have the thermometer, please? Oh, you're not pregnant, are you? Oh, that's good. It's just because gamma rays can be very dangerous to unborn babies. It's also thanks to gamma rays that we can use a thermometer like this. We can use them for sterilising medical equipment. Open wide. That patient survived and she's fine now. But did you know that gamma rays have a wavelength of less than 10 picometers, which is 1 over 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 of a metre? <laughs> It's nearly time for us to go now, Vicky, but here are a few facts you might not have known about the electromagnetic spectrum. Did you know that X-ray radiation can also be known as Rontage radiation? Ultraviolet can be emitted by electric arcs, like lightning. Really? Infrared can be used by historians with, to help detect carbon handwriting, 
and outlines on, a, um, on artwork. Cool! That's all we have time for. I hope you've learnt a lot more about electromagnetic um, spectrum than you knew before. Say bye, Vicky. Bye, Vicky. Oh, bye! bye. Directed by Amy and, and researched, researched by all of us. us.